Hello folks, and welcome back. So, in the last one we made it to where we can actually start drawing out our sword. But if we do, let's take a look at that real quick. When we equip it, and then we try to go pick something else up, it'll start taking away our gear because it's registering those as interactable still. So, we need to do some checks and fix some things up. And iterate on it a little bit. So what we're going to do is first we need to go and add a little bit of something to our main interactable item. So for the base interactable we need something that's going to make it more reliably register these in the right place on there uh, in the array. So I'm going to highlight the item and I'm going to add a sphere collision right around it and I'm going to set the radius to about 50 so that when this is overlapped it more reliably will keep a hold of a you know it, its place in the interactable array so once we do that then I want to go into the player blueprint now we need to check to see if our character has any equipment already on them because those, the way we set those up being interactables, they'll register in our interactable array also. So I'm going to add a boolean real quick called weapon equipped question mark. And I'm going to drag this out in our destroy gear function. I want to set this to false. So from the is not, so we're destroying the sword, checking to see if we have a shield and then destroying it. If we check for the shield and it's not valid, we want to hook that to the false also, just so that no matter what, it always ends on this. Now in the spawn gear functionality, we want to do the same thing. So after we spawn the sword, we check in to see if we have a shield equipped. Right there at that false, we want to set that we do have a weapon currently equipped. Then we'll drag it way over and we'll make sure that it checks or that it sets that to true after we spawn the shield in case we do have a shield so that no matter what it ends with that. Now in our event graph I'm gonna go find our interact function and I'm gonna drag it over a little bit um, one second Okay, so I'm going to drag this way over, and I'm going to set that branch up, that check right there in between, to see if we have a weapon equipped. So if we don't have a weapon equipped, we're, the reason we're doing it like this instead of just checking to see if our sword is valid, is because we're also going to add a bow later on, and then we can just set this to see if we have a bow also. So from the false that we don't have any weapon equipped, we just want to call the very first interactable in our array. The reason it's starting at 1 is because our character has the interact BPI also, so it's registering in our interactables range, and we don't want our character to be affected. So if we do have a weapon equipped, then we want to see if we have a shield equipped. So I'm going to drag that out, drag off there, and say is valid. I'm going to hook the weapon equip true to here. Then I'm going to get a copy and get a copy. And I'm going to drag these down just to kind of clean them up. So from no weapon equipped at all, we want to grab the first one. So if we do have a sword equipped but no shield, we want to get the second one. So I'll drag out and get our interact message. Now if we have both sword and shield equipped, we want to get the third item in our array and then interact with it. So I'll hook that up like so. And now when I go in, I'll pick up a sword, I'll pick up a shield. I'll equip some both. 
And now if I try to interact in my sword and shield, they stay right there. I'm not picking up anything from them. But if I go and I can try to pick up... Oh, crap. Well, it got my shield. It took my shield down. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go into my... I'm just going to go into my base interactable and just upgrade that sphere. So you want to just kind of find that sweet spot to where it won't swing out of that radius. Or actually, you know what? I can just increase that radius. What do I have it set in the other one? Let's the checks. So it sets 150 in this character. What do we got it set in ours? 100. Ah, there's a difference. So now I can set this back down to 50. So now it should more reliably keep our weapon and shield in their rightful place in our interactables array. So let me pick those up real quick. So the reason is when she ran, the sword was or the shield was swinging up just far enough to get out of that little radius. So now I can equip it. It's staying. I can pick up all my other stuff and I'm only getting those. Let me give you just a little visual. Um, so I got my sphere. I'm just going to set it to not hidden in game. And I'm going to set it back to the 100 radius that it was just so you could see what was happening. So this is what registers the interactables in a range. So if I pick that sword up, that shield up, since we added those uh, spheres around it, you can't see it, but that shield is getting far enough just outside of it to where that little 50 radius just not keeping up. Like if you interact with other items, then it removes its place. So when I bump that up to 150, adding the 50 sphere radius around all our base or all our interactables also so now it'll stay it'll always be registering exactly like it should and I can go through and just pick up everything I want let me grab that shield and if I, even if I spam the button now, it's not doing anything. It's not removing our equipment. So one other thing you will notice is if you have multiple swords and you have your weapon equipped and then you change swords, which I don't have another weapon right quick. All right, now I don't think. Let me... Oh yeah, I got the iron sword, don't I? Alright, so let me show you that real quick. We're going to fix this up too real quick. So if I have one sword equipped, and I change equipment, I still have the old sword equipped. And the only way to get it to come back, or to update, is to draw out the new one. But if you're already running around with a weapon, you, and you equip it, you want to go ahead and change that up. So oh, I'm going to change that to hidden again. And we'll compile that real quick. So now on our oh pff. that'll be on our use item function, wouldn't it? So when we use an item, if it's a weapon, like if it's a sword, let's find out if we already have a sword equipped. So, is valid. These is valid nodes really come in handy. So from the change sword, we want to see if we already have a sword. And if it's not valid, then we can just change it. And if we do, then we will destroy, call our destroy gear function. And then our... change sword function feeding in that info and then our spawn gear function 
It's a little workaround, I know, a little clunky. Hmm, what you can actually do. Forget that. Let's set the is valid after the change gear. So hook the sword back up right here. And if it is, then we'll destroy. Get rid of that. Then spawn. And now let's check it out. Oh, the hook art is not valid all the way up to the remove item. So, let me check that real quick. I'll equip my weapon, and then if I equip a new one, now it'll automatically update the new one. So, yeah, just a quick workaround right there. So, now it should all be better functioning for you and in the next one we will start setting up combat system so I will see you on the next one bye bye